Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. So before I start this reading, I just want to thank you so much for all my clients, personal clients, my subscribers, my viewers, people that are just along for the journey with me and have been for almost a year now, which is crazy. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for always being here. I try to make this a very positive place, my channel. I don't delete comments, but you know, I try my best to keep the message positive. There's a reason I don't do readings on certain people. However, I wanted to do a disclaimer because a lot of people really don't understand the, the gist of psychic readings, mediumship readings, the differences. Um, blah 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 and that's totally understandable and I'm sure you there's even psychics that have been doing this as long as I have that still question how this stuff works um, so within psychic readings I go with uh, my spirits the, the spirits that help me they give me the messages and tell me what they need to um, the person that I'm working with what they need to hear or the message that needs to be transferred a mediumship-based reading is me speaking to somebody who it's kind of like they're sitting across the table from me. Now, at this time, I do not offer mediumship-based readings. Do mediumship-based readings happen? Yes, they do. Um, you can book me for a reading and if somebody really wants to come through and they have a message and I know that they're going to more successfully transition and be at more peace with giving you this message, I will transfer the message. I am a medium um, and my mediumship abilities also go with telepathy. So for people that don't understand that, uh, telepathy is kind of like a mediumship based reading, but the person will be alive or the person exists on a different dimension. Uh, I believe it said in the Bible that we have different celestial levels. Some people that are living, other psychics, other intuitives, um, religious figures, they are on different celestial levels. That is a telepathy reading. Do I do telepathy readings on this channel? No, I don't read anybody who has the gift of tel telepathy. There are celebrities that do have the gift of telepathy, but I just don't read them. So I just wanted to get this disclaimer out there because I understand that it's complicated and not everybody understands how psychics work. But I just wanted to give you guys more clarity about it. So, I like I said, I just want to thank everybody so much for being here. I'm so blessed to be here, to be doing this. I love doing this. I love talking to you guys, even if it's at 2 o'clock in the morning and you need somebody to talk to. I try and respond to all of my DMs, all of my emails uh, throughout the day, but sometimes my life gets hectic as well, especially the past six months, you know. it's It's been a little hectic. So with that being said, I just wanna say that I adore all of you and I love that you bring your energy here and into these videos and everything like that. And I, I really do feel blessed to have the opportunity to do this, but I'm not for everybody. And I, I remember when I first started doing readings, I would deny more people than I would take on. And I had to set clear boundaries with my guides for who they were sending me that I, I wasn't gonna take on just anybody. You know, especially for my intuitive counseling, and that's very one-on-one -on -one training. I, for one-on-one -on -one training for other things that I offer that are private, that I only offer for a long-time clients. I don't take on just anybody for that. And I feel like I wanna hold space for people that need it the most. And even with my life being hectic, I still want to help people get better at what they're doing. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to say thank you so much. I hope this message makes sense. And yeah, I'm just really grateful to be here for almost a year now. I've been doing this for almost a year. And I have met so many amazing people. I have worked with people that I used to look up to when I was a child, when I was a teenager. And it's crazy to think that people like that would want to work with me and you know I am just so grateful I really am and 
I always wanted to do this, to go on the computer and do readings and do... I wasn't going to do YouTube at first. I was going to do Facebook because I didn't really know much about YouTube. But I'm so grateful that I get to do it here and connect to so many more of you and um, really help you guys in your path and help cross over people that have been stagnant here, that have been waiting to just transfer a message to you guys. And like I said, I don't offer those mediumship-based readings to everybody. They just come up. Um, so I am really, really grateful for everything. And... I, I just wanted to say thank you. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Hey guys, thank you so much for being here today. So I wanted to do a reading on Kylie Jenner and her new boyfriend because I am so happy that she finally found somebody that was actually pretty good. Um, this wasn't requested. I think it's because people don't really know if they're together or not or you know what they're really doing, but I figured let's just give them a read. I, I'm optimistic about this relationship um, from what my guides are saying, but this is just from what meets the eye. I haven't read them yet. Um, but yeah, let's look into it. She posted a picture, I think about last night, with Fai, and I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name. Okay. Alright, so I really thought this was going to be a positive reading. Um... As soon as I open the picture up, this is a picture, I am hearing that he's in it for money. Um, listen, I uh, sometimes I get feelings that I can't explain, but I did get a good feeling about this guy. Um, this person, he may be bisexual as well. Um, he does have a good energy. I'm not exactly sure that Kylie is really that into him, though. I feel like... Kylie may be with him um, to just kind of, you know, boost her ego. I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not getting this vibe of, like, pure and utter romance. It's, it's more of, like, a friendship type of vibe that I'm getting. I'm hearing one of her best girlfriends. Okay, so I think that Kylie knows that he may be, like, bisexual or something like that. But... <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to look for another picture because this is a little confusing and... But then again, I mean, what's portrayed on the internet is not always what's really going on. Um, so they had posted a picture together a while ago. What are these two doing? He is definitely, you know, um, I would say he's bisexual or he is, um, I don't want to, I don't want to like totally discount that he's into women, but I am not really get picking up that the romance here between him and Kylie is real like genuine i i just i'm not picking that up i'm not gonna lie to you guys like trust me when i saw this picture i was like finally she met a good guy but because i never liked travis for her i did a reading on them before and the side chick so okay so i'm hearing that he wants to make it in some type of like boy band or I, i'm not exactly sure what this guy faye does Fi. But I feel like he wants to make it in some type of media, um, you know, something in the media. He wants to do it big. And I feel like he, I wouldn't want to say that he's leeching off Kylie because it's not vindictive. It's not like totally negative. I feel like they are friends. But I think that he lets Kylie put these photos up online maybe to... I think he lets Kylie kind of persuade the internet that they're dating because Kylie wants that that to be what it looks like on the computer or on the internet. Um, but I don't, I'm not getting romance here. I'm not 100% sure that he's into women. Um, 
I feel like he's definitely done some things, you know, broken some hearts before, but left some people for, for the limelight or, you know, with him posting these photos, I feel like he may be getting somebody kind of jealous as well. Um, not intentionally. I don't feel like he's intentionally doing it, but there are girls that I feel like were, you know, or men that were romantically interested in him that he's now kind of stirring the pot with these people because, I don't know, it seems like a selfish energy from what he's doing from a publicity standpoint. It's not only about publicity, meaning fame in newspapers. I feel like um, he's kind of showing other women that he's dated, hey, like, you know, and also, also um, whoever his romantic interests are, because I do feel like he has dated women in the past. I don't think he's like, I don't want to say he's gay. I feel like he just has a sexual preference that can go either way, honestly. Um, I do feel like he has dated women, though. And he has kind of, like, stabbed a woman in the back before. This may be somebody he had a child with or was planning on having a child with. Like, a, there, there was, like, a miscarriage or something. But I do feel like there is something here with, like, a child. Like, either he was going to have a child or there was an abortion or something like that. Um... This, this seems like somebody that's been kind of holding on to him and kind of watches his every move. That's why I said it wasn't really intentional that he's making this person go a little crazy. Um, it's just like kind of collateral damage about this woman, if it feels like a woman. I feel like Kylie is really trying to just step into her power and um, or portray that to the media. Like, I, I, I always feel like Kylie... You know, she really just tries to persuade the internet into thinking one thing, but in, in her own head, I feel like it's complicated. I do feel like she is evolving at a business standpoint, but emotionally and for her own self-security, I, I, I feel like she's too fixated on what people think. And, you know, that's normal because she's been in the media for her whole, whole, whole life, you know? So manipulating the media is... Um, definitely one of her first priorities i don't even feel like at this point it's about travis like i feel like it's i don't want everybody to think that i'm single like i or i don't want everybody to think that i haven't been with somebody in like a year or whatever or that i'm just alone i do feel like he faye feels as though Kylie is a good friend. He does care genuinely about their friendship. I feel like they they definitely laugh a lot together. Like I'm feeling like they have good times, happy times between each other. But I just don't see this relationship go to getting to that next romantic level. Um, they're too close as like friends. You know what I mean? My spirit, spirits like want to say they're too close as girlfriends. You know what I mean? But. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't see it. I feel like Kylie is kind of just, you know, trying to make the internet think one thing. And what's going on with Kylie that she wants to do this? Kylie feels very stuck and alone. Um, trapped. I feel like she, her self-worth is kind of, you know, she's not really seeing her own worth yet. I think a lot of this has to do with hey, I'm all the way at the top, like, I don't think I could meet a guy my age that's gonna upstand me or, like, do better than me, you know? But she, at the same time, she's so successful and she's a billionaire, but she's still so young and she's, she's not really sure where this takes place because she's on high, the highest level on one scale and then she's so young, but she, and she's so young on the other hand and obviously no, no of the people that she's hanging out with are gonna compete with her. So I feel like this kind of puts her in a bubble, or at least it puts her mind in a bubble that, hey, I'm not going to find anybody better. Um, I'm always going to have this um, upper hand with men in life. And I just want to, you know, say that, hey, I still got it. But, you know, I think she does still have it and she can get any guy she wants. It's just she's not seeing the options being put in front of her. Let's up with Kylie for her love life coming in next. I'm hearing that there's going to be more solitude for her. Focusing on the children, the, the focusing on her children. Um, when I say children, I mean, they're showing me like her child, but also the nieces and nephews taking care of the family kind of thing. 
Um, she may study something. She may go back to study. They're selling me like her writing papers or writing books or not writing books, but just writing essays on something. Uh, so she may really go into the makeup industry and try and branch out. I feel like she's going to go to different countries and try and understand how the makeup line works there. She's going to really get more involved in her business and the analytics of it, really get involved in a way that she never did before because she actually is interested in learning. You know what I mean? This is going to come from a place of, all right, I've already re reached the top, but I'd love to learn more about it. You know what I mean? So I do feel like she's going to be, um, be preoccupied doing research or studying on something. Um, could be it could be a mixture of beauty and fashion, but there's there's definitely a lot of research um, and solitude. I feel like coming up for her. I know that if she hears this message, she's not going to be happy about that. But yeah, she's she's going to put her business front on. She's already at, at the top of the game, but she's going to really get more invested in the business from what I'm getting. And um, she's going to become a different type of businesswoman than we've than we've seen. I feel like she's going to change her life around and uh, be more serious. And I I used to get a naive feeling from her, but I feel like she's coming out of this. I feel like um, she's going to be very good hearted because she is very good hearted. But she she's going to continue to be this good hearted, but also more serious, I guess, more affirmative and more assertive. She's going to really step into her power. Guys, I'm not saying this is going to happen tomorrow or in the next couple years. I feel like this is going to be ongoing for the next five to six years. Um, for some reason, they're showing me her going blonde. W while this is happening, she's going to go blonde or she's going to stay blonde, platinum blonde for like a, for this year when this whole transition happens. Um, people are going to respect her more in the makeup industry. People are going to see her in a different light because of the projects she's taking on. I do feel like the friendship she has with Faye is going to fade out. Um, this is just going to be kind of natural. Um, you know, they're just not going to be friends like that much anymore. Uh, I do feel like Kylie thinks he's really attractive. You know, that's what I'm getting. I, but it's more like he's kind of arm candy for her. And she needs to go through this whole transition to change her life around in order to meet the right person. All right, guys. Thank you so much. If you guys want a reading of your own, I put everything in the description. Thank you for being here. And comment below what you guys think of this relationship.